Anyone who watched my recent rechargeable battery showdown video saw me test two of these Yeezing AA batteries and they didn't really perform well, but I have more than two of them. I have eight batteries here, four AA's, four AAA's. Maybe I just picked the wrong ones out of this set. So I'm discharging all eight of these batteries. I'm gonna do a recharge capacity test to see if any of these batteries meet their rated capacity. I'm testing the battery capacity of the Yeezing 8-piece 4AA, 4AAA battery set. All eight of these batteries have been fully discharged using LED flashlights until the flashlight would not shine anymore. This one is at 0.9 volts. This one is just over a volt. This one's just over a volt. This one is at 0.95 volts. So these are pretty much fully drained here. So what I wanna see is when I put this in the charger, how much charge will these batteries take? They're rated at 800 milliamp hours. This charger displays how many milliamp hours it's putting into these batteries. Now these have been fully drained and it has put five milliamp hours into this battery. It's put five milliamp hours into this battery. It's put four milliamp hours into this battery. It's put three milliamp hours into this battery. And I wanna see if I can put 800 milliamp hours into these batteries. I want to see if the actual capacity of these batteries meets the rated capacity. Okay, all four batteries are fully charged. Battery one took 636 milliamp hours. Battery two did pretty good. Uh, 857 is higher than its rated 800 milliamp hours. Battery three, 594 milliamp hours, and battery four, who just 436 milliamp hours. So only one of these four batteries performed at its rated level or better. Next up are my AA cells. These have also been discharged using LED flashlights. One of these AA cells is particularly problematic. I'm getting just, uh, just over one volt out of it which tells me that it's dead, but when I put it in the charger, it quickly jumps up to 60 something percent, 71 percent, 72 percent. I pull it off of the charger and I'm getting almost 1.3 volts out of it. This is behaving like a worn out nickel metal hydride cell. A properly functioning nickel metal hydride cell should maintain close to 1.2 volts discharge for the better part of its life and not drop below 1.1 until only a small percentage of life is remaining. Cells with a steeper voltage drop are not going to run your battery powered gear successfully. Now these are supposed to hold 2200 milliamp hours. Battery 1 was able to hold 1061. Battery 2, 1560, battery 3, 1539, and battery 4, 1511. This one is obviously a problem battery. These other three are working pretty good, but none of them are the advertised 2200 milliamp hours. I did a prior test with three other brands and the Yeezing, and the rest of them did better. The Energizer rated at 2300 held 2362. The Harbor Freight rated at 2200 held 2271. The Yeezing, which is supposed to hold 2200, held 1561. And the Amazon Basics, which is supposed to hold 2000, held 1582. So that settles it. Only one of the Yeezing AAAs met its rated capacity. The rest fell short. I cannot recommend the Yeezing battery set from Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 
Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone, and don't get ripped off.